Hi, this is Patrick from Maxim Motors, and I'm driving a 2014 Nissan GTR, aka Godzilla. What's this guy? What's I'm up, like, man? I'm like, God, is this a GTR? Yeah. This is like the freaking sickest car we've ever seen. Do you, uh, you want to lift? Um, yeah. Come on. Oh, man. Pick another pull stranger. Hey, it's all right. Buckle up. Sure. Just so you know, I don't normally just pick up random dudes on the street. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Say konnichiwa to Godzilla, the Nissan GTR, one of the fastest, hottest cars that's made today. Uh, I'm here with, what's your name? My name's Oliver, by the way. Oliver. Nice, nice to finally, meet you. Nice to finally meet you. <laughs> I'm here with Oliver, who's a big, big fan of the car, and uh, I mean, we can see why. How do people respond when they see this on the road? If people know what it is, then they go completely insane. <laughs> <laughs> see? That's insane, right? It's completely insane. The best car right here. Like, it's hard to call a $100,000 car a bargain. You keep up with half a million dollars cars with no problem. Absolutely. That's the thing. It's like a bargain. Yep. But when you're talking about Ferraris and Lamborghinis and Aston Martins, it is. That guy is still going at it. <laughs> oh my god. So what are some of the things that you like really love about this thing? It's everything, the power, the body style, the sleekness, the brakes. My favorite part of this car is the back. I just think that this whole back is badass. Yeah, it's really aggressive looking. It's very aggressive looking. Look at those giant tailpipes. Something else that's actually really cool about this thing, there's actually a decent amount of trunk space. And how many supercars are there that go from zero to 60 in under three seconds that you could actually put real luggage in? Think I could get in here? Do you think so? Oh, I'm sure. Let's see. This is my Billy Bats impression for any <laughs> good fellas fans. You could fit two people in there, probably. Well, there it is. Can't believe you actually trusted a total stranger with the uh, keys to the car. You know, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Try to do that in a Lamborghini. Let's look at the inside. First of all, these doors are really cool. I think the interior is great. I love this color. Got the leather all over. Nice, sturdy steering wheel. The seats, they grip you, but they're still really comfortable. It is possible that there's more room in the trunk than there is in the back seat. Life-sized human beings, they'll probably be uncomfortable. Now you got the whole infotainment system here, which does a lot of different things. Uh, you got some car info, you can see a tire pressure. It asks existential questions, where am I? Who am I? <laughs> Oliver, what do you say we uh, look under the hood? Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, wow. So, the engine of every GTR is hand-built by one particular person. So this one was made by Izumi Chioya. Izumi Origato. 3.8 liters, V6, twin turbo, 545 horsepower. They squeeze every last bit of power out of this thing. I mean, it really is crazy that there's a supercar that goes this fast that only has six cylinders. This is the kind of engine that like, if you get like a couple people over that like cars, you could just like kind of like sit there and just stare just stare at it. It's just perfection. Oh man. You like the sound? That is beautiful. I think we just gotta jump right back in. Yeah, let's hit the road. So what do you think? You were gonna, what, take the bus? I was just gonna walk home. I mean, you could carjack me, really. I had the chance to when you were in the trunk. Yeah, you did. <laughs> um, I hope you didn't uh, make a mess on that seat over there. I actually might have. <laughs> well, why did that spit out of there? It doesn't move. It's, it's just mind-blowing. It's like going 140 is like in the middle of it. I've never felt anything like that before in my life. Oliver, I just met you, but I feel like we're brothers already. Zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds. I hope Oliver's wearing a diaper. Oh my God. 
All right, Oliver, well, I've been really nice. Picked you up, don't even know you, gave you a lift. We looked at the engine, we zipped around. Mm -hmm. I, we kind of became brothers. Right. I think the least you could do is fill up the gas tank for me. And you, there was a catch.